This project mainly requires these two RGB LED modules and the Arduino board only. Here's how it works. So for this, I am additionally using these parts. This is called wire casing or cable trunking. I use this to install these LED modules. First, you need to solder these two modules together. Make sure to solder the module in the same direction. The related diagram and details are available in the description. I use this dry foam brick to install the LEDs. You can also use Regiform, and you can glue it using a glue gun. I use these because I will use LED for something else in the future. If you have watched my previous video, you may remember that I installed the Arduino board in this enclosure. Since there was not enough space in that enclosure, I installed it in another enclosure like this. And I installed PCB mount wire for all of these. You may remember I installed an external 5 volts power supply on this enclosure. So I attached a PCB wire connector to this enclosure as well. The power supply and the motor module are connected like this. Both these parts are connected to the Arduino enclosure by one wire harness. The 5V power from this wire harness is connected in parallel to other devices in this circuit. 
More details are in the description link. Don't worry if you are using only this RPM LED you don't need this. You can connect it directly like this. Now I can connect them easily. Okay, now go to the SIM hub. Then open Sketch Setup. Select your device and choose your COM port. Now scroll down a bit. Find this module and enable it. Now put the LED count. The total number of LEDs in these two modules is 16. So I put 16 here. Now select the digital pin of your Arduino. Now click the upload button. This is the sketch of my other equipment. Now go to the RGB LEDs. You can adjust brightness from here. You can test your device here. This is the default RPM effect. First, I'm gonna change RPM animation. I set it to work in one direction. As you can see, there are two similar RPM effects. I will disable one of these and open other one. I am going to do this out of 16 LEDs, using two LEDs on both sides as indicators. So the 12 LEDs in the middle are used to RPM. Therefore, select 3 as the starting position and select the LED count as 12. Now test it. If you need 3 LEDs on each side, use the starting position 4 and use the LED count 10. If your LED works in the opposite direction, you can change it from here. Here you can change the start color and end color. I will show you an example. Perfect. Also, you can change the animation like this. Here you can change the RPM mode. Like percentage or custom RPM. I use percentage mode, so I will put the minimum at 0%. Maximum at 100%. Okay, now add another important effects. Click this add effect button. There are many effects here. So I add this blue flag effect. Select 1 as the starting position and select the LED count as 2. We only fix the two LEDs on the left. You need to add a separate effect to the right side. Add the same effect again. Select the LED count as 2 and select 15 as the starting position. Do the same thing for other flag effects. Now add car sported indicator. Starting position is 1, LED count is 2. You can choose a color for it. And you can adjust the blinking delay in this. Now add the other side. In that way, I added all the effects I wanted. So that's it. But you can see RPM is not properly showing. It's like always light up. It can fix in adjusting the RPM percentage. I'll put it 75% to 100%. Now you can see it working fine. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and gaming content.